One of the connections between rationalism in politics and political fanaticism is that a total reliance on abstract reason can lead to moral blindness. If you have some set of definite categories that you try to fit everything that's going on into, you're going to miss what's going on. When I say this, I think of a couple people I knew in college. One was someone who was kind of a student politician. He was, I knew him when he was running for student, the student government. Right? And he said once he was taking classes in social sciences, and one day he said to his teachers in frustration, I am not an equation. You can't reduce my behavior to a set of equations. There's more to it than that. Along similar lines, I read an article once by Jean Bethke Elstein in which she talked about uh, the interview process for someone they were thinking about hiring uh, in the social sciences. And she said he was going on with all these graphs and these charts and these models of human behavior. And finally, she said to him, you know, it's interesting. When you look at Dr. King's famous speech, he didn't say, I have a goal or an interest. He said, I have a dream. Do you understand what the difference is? And she said the person was speechless. He had nothing to say to that. Right? His whole way, at least for his academic work, of approaching human beings was with these abstract equations, many of, I suspect many of which were cent centered around an idea of rational self-interest. And she was saying that's not how human life works. And if you try to treat human life with the idea that your set of political categories covers everything, you're going to be blind to essential features of what's going on around you.